Microsoft Azure Logic App is a serverless offering from Microsoft that allows you to build scalable integrations and automate workflows across various cloud services and on-premises systems. This comes in two flavors, Azure Logic Apps Consumption and Azure Logic Apps Standard. The primary difference is in their hosting model. Logic App Consumption is a multi-tenant model which means your workflows will run on a shared infrastructure and you pay per execution. On the other hand, Logic App Standard provides a single tenant model allowing you to run your workflows on a dedicated infrastructure with fixed pricing, giving you more control over performance and scalability. As Logic App Standard is implemented on top of Azure Functions runtime, their hosting model is similar to Azure Functions hosting model, requiring an app service plan to host your workflow. Now, how do we go about the Azure Logic App Standard local development? As of this video, there is no Logic App Standard extension available for Visual Studio. The preferred way is to use Visual Studio code, which has Azure Logic App Standard extension that provides designer experience and debugging capabilities. In this video, we will see how to get started with Azure Logic App Standard in Visual Studio Code. The prerequisites you need. We will create a simple workflow and explore the debugging experience. And finally, we will deploy this workflow into Azure. Let's get started. Here is the Microsoft documentation which clearly articulates the prerequisites you need for this. First of all, you need Visual Studio Code. You can download and install this from here. Then you need Azure Account Extension for Visual Studio Code. Install that one. Then you need Azure Logic Apps Standard Extension for Visual Studio Code. If you can install version 2.81.5, it can automatically install all the dependencies which are needed for this one like Azure Rights, .NET SDK, Azure Function Tools, etc. But for any reason, if you have to work with previous versions, you would have to install these dependencies manually. Just follow this documentation which clearly gives a step-by-step -step guidance and you will be able to get through this. I'm also leaving the link in the description below. You can get it from there. I'm in my Visual Studio code. The first thing we need is Azure Logic App standard extension. We need this extension. Install this extension. Once this extension is installed, go to Azure. You need to connect to your Azure account from here. If you haven't already, please do connect to your Azure account. When you connect to Azure account, you will be able to see something like this. And when you have Azure Logic App standard extension installed, when you go to the workspace, you will see the Logic App icon here. Click on the Logic App icon and create a new project. Select a path where you want to store this new project. After that, we're going to create a stateful workflow. Select the stateful workflow. Then just name your workflow. We will be naming it as nfacto la iPhone standard hit enter then just select open in current window that is okay once you select open in current window it will automatically create new azure standard logic app project for you this will be your new project if you want to understand more about the folder structure and each of these files you can go to the microsoft documentation and refer to here i have left the link in the description below you can go through that for this demo purpose we will be concerned about workflow.json. This is where we will be creating our workflows. Another point to note here is by default, when we create a new project, this new project will be created bundle based Node.js project. Azure Logic App can be built using two primary approaches extension bundle based Node.js and NuGet package based .NET. Both methods allow you to create and manage workflows, but they're different in their development environments, dependencies, and project structure. By default, when you create a project, it will be created as extension bundle based Node.js. It uses JavaScript TypeScript, easier setup for those with JavaScript TypeScript background and limited to the functionalities provided by the extension bundles. On the other side, 
NuGet package based uses the .NET C# -sharp ecosystem suitable for the developers experienced with the .NET and C# -sharp, which leverages the extensive .NET ecosystem. For the demo purpose, we will be using NuGet package based .NET one. Since the default version is extension bundle based Node.js one, we will convert this into NuGet package based .NET one. To do that, simply right click and convert to new gate based logic app project this is a one way operation we won't be able to roll back yeah completed moving your logic app project to a new gate based project now right click on workflow.json open designer now to use connectors from azure you need to specify your subscription and resource group details we will try using connectors from azure choose the subscription your resource group then it would launch the designer now let's add a trigger we will be simply using http trigger when http request is received i just want to leave that to the default then we will add uh, another action we will use compose action to prepare the response compose simply prepare some mock json data copy and paste some json data then we will simply return this json data as response in the body we're gonna take the output of the compose that will be returned as a response body our workflow is all done just click on save let's run this workflow when you install the latest azure logic app standard extension it would automatically install azure write emulator which is needed to run this logic app locally first let's go to our workflow.json you would have already seen the actions which we created in the designer let's put some debugging here in the compose and in the response we will try debugging this one we want to see the debugging experience as well click on run and start debugging it would automatically launch the azure write emulator it will take a couple of minutes it will do a whole bunch of stuff emulator has started this logic app build has completed and logic app is running locally now we can debug this to debug this first we have to invoke the logic app to invoke the logic app go to the workflow and click on the overview and here you can see the callback url this is the url which we need to invoke copy that url go to the postman and paste that url in the postman and invoke this upon clicking you can see we hit the debug point here and you can see the variable on the local side you can see the action results you can see the context and everything and you can step through one by one continue and if i go back to the postman i can see the response you can go to the overview again and see the run for yourself the run has been succeeded it took 20 seconds because we had a debugger there appearance is bit similar to azure portal experience you can look at the run history as well you can go to that specific run and look at the compose what has been prepared and what has been written the experience here is pretty much close to what we have in azure portal let's stop this debugging and see how we can deploy this one now let's stop this debugging and see how we can deploy this one to the azure portal to deploy this one to the azure portal go back to the azure and under the workspace just click on the logic app and deploy to logic app click on that you will be asked to choose certain options here first you want to choose the subscription then the resource group we will be creating a new logic app standard we're going to name it as nfacto iphone la iphone standard hit enter you're going to select the location as australia east then this is where the things get a bit interesting right there are two things here app service plan and workflow standard plan these two are actually app service plans when you select app service plan it is pretty much you are choosing app service environment version 3 under the app service plan as of this video only app service environment version 3 is supported to deploy in an app service plan workflow standard is also an app service plan but there are specific app service plans created for Azure Logic App Standard Workflow. They are called as Workflow Standard 1, Workflow Standard 2, Workflow Standard 3. If I select this one, you will see it for yourself. Create a new app service plan. We're going to name it as that way. Now, if you see here, it has asked us to choose one of the plan, WS1, WS2, WS3. They primarily differ in compute, virtual CPU and memory. For demo purpose, we're simply going to choose Workflow Standard 1 app service plan we will be able to see this when this is deployed to the azure portal for demo purpose i don't want redundancy availability i simply disable that then you select the resource group i'm going to deploy this into apim resource group then the deployment has already started why it deploys i'm going to bring up 
I'm going to launch my Azure portal, the APIM resource group to see if the if, if it has started creating resources. It is working under the hood. It has already created app service plan. As I said before, even workflow standard 1, 2, 3 are also app service plans. If I go to this standard one, you can see it for yourself. It is an app service and plan is WS1, which is workflow standard one. You will have these three plans, workflow standard 1, 2, 3, they differ in memory and the CPUs. It says, yes, we sure we want to deploy this to Azure portal. Just click on deploy. Then we back to our Azure portal. It is deploying the stuff at the moment. And if I go back to APIM, we can see it will create Azure storage account because as I said, the hosting model is similar to Azure function hosting model, which would require a storage account. So it is creating a storage account and you have the standard logic app being created, which is running under ASP workflow standard one plan just let's wait for this deployment to finish then we can go into the logic app and test it okay now the deployment is successful let's go to our azure portal just maximize this one and go to the logic app standard workflows and we have our in facto LES standard workflow here you can again simply run this workflow it doesn't need any payload just simply run it it has successfully run refresh you can see the run history you can open the workflow you can see the workflow since there is no client waiting for the response the response is skipped if you want to really see that just simply run with the payload and hit run in the response you can see the json response we have written just refresh it look at the latest run it should return a response since there is a client now it has written the response i hope this beginner guide will help you to get started with azure logic app standard local development that is it for this video if you like the content, please hit subscribe, like, comment and share. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, this is Shri signing off. Thank you.